So, I'll start with a piece entitled Janine. Janine. Janine speaks curse words in her sleep. On days when her daydreams turn into nightmares, she's reminded that she's no Alice in Wonderland or Dorothy with a Tin Man or Scarecrow possessing a lion's heart that he'll use to protect her from the evils of this world. Half woman, half girl, Janine dreams of being free. Free from being daytime comatose and nighttime traumatized. Janine's 15 going on foolish and she's young, wild, and partly wise and sometimes shows her innocence and her ignorance all in the same sentence or all in the same verse. Like this morning before she left the house, she said to her daddy, I love you. But to her mother, every syllable she spoke was a curse. Words came rumbling from her mouth and it didn't stop when she hit school. During Sunday morning lessons, she must have missed the part about following the golden rule because it seemed like for no reason on the teacher she went off before, during, and after class told security, the counselor, and the principal where they could stick their policies before she was asked to leave for an extended stay. At times it seems as if she can't help what she might say. Been this way since first day in first grade. She's got this anger and it's brimming inside, yet her pride won't let her ask for help, which no one's really offering to give. You know her, you know how she lives, only two or three doors down, maybe right next to you. Truth be told, she could have even been you, depending on the particular day. A certain someone decided to cross her the wrong way. So before we sit in judgment and whisper and say that girl's got problems, I want to tell you she knows she's got them. And like a patient patiently praying for remission, she chants prayers and prayer positions, petitioning God for an answer. Because Janine's 15 and she's got cancer. But not the kind that kills the body but the kind that kills the soul. Indiscriminately touching both young and old, it's the cancer of hate and it spreads so fast that she can't catch it. So Janine's become a delinquent juvenile and she didn't just get it from her mama, she got it from all her folks. They say that her daddy took too many totes with Mary, but now he wants a daughter who acts like an angel when he let weed tamper with his seed. Never did he think that his little Janine would be the one to grow and reap what he sowed. And so the story goes on and on like a beat that keeps on skipping. Mama's got anger problems too, on and on, like a like a soccer that keeps on repeating. Daddy never learned the golden rule. On and on and on and on. Will somebody please turn the lights off so we can sit in silence and pray? Maybe then out of darkness, children like Janine will see a brighter day. Our Father, who art in heaven, please rise so the sun can be and weave. Been crying for far too long. We've been singing the same song, but like martyrs marching to freedom, we will, but we don't want to have to die to be set free. Because each time we look into the eyes of ones like Janine who look like we and feel the same as she, we realize that we don't have to stop breathing to end up dead. Because right now, The whole world is breathing, but some of us are spiritually dead. We feel so unalive, but like Lazarus, we want to mount up wings, mount up wings and fly. We want to no longer be comatose or traumatized, but we want to mount up wings like eagles and fly so that we can be made free. And we want to take ones like Janine and show her that her destiny doesn't have to be a child of anger. She need not be stranger to love or hopes or dreams where she no longer speaks curse words in her sleep but I love you I love you Janine will be the lullaby that she sings thank you